before we jump right into it, I ask that you consider subscribing. It seems that 99.7% of my viewers aren't subscribed. Have you ever seen worse? If you like the content and want to see more car videos, subscribe and hit the little bell icon. I don't do boring vlog style videos that last over 10 minutes just for ad revenue. I get right into it and take pride in actually editing my videos. So consider subscribing, it's free. Yo, hey guys, it's me again, and today I'm going to install some new headlight bulbs on my 2016 Mustang GT. Now the headlights on the earlier year S550 Mustangs from the years 2015 through 2017 use HID bulbs for the main headlights. The newer 2018 plus Mustangs are LED. HIDs are an older technology that many cars started using in the early 2000s. Most factory xenon or HID headlights are kind of yellow and don't look as clean as modern LED headlights that are bright white. The ones here on the 2015 through 2017 Mustangs and all the S550 Shelbys are, you guessed it, yellowish. The DRLs are white, the fog lights are white, but for some reason the headlights are not. So with this inexpensive mod, you can switch out the old bulbs for some newer ones of the color of your choosing. These are the Torchbeam D3S HID headlight bulbs in 6000K diamond white. I got these for 30 bucks on Amazon, I will leave a link down in the description below if you want to check them out for yourself. Now in order to swap out the bulbs on the Mustang headlights, most people would have to take out the headlights entirely. Well I'll tell you that if you have small hands and a set of picks, then you might be able to do it without taking off the front bumper and headlights. Here I'll show you guys that you first have to rotate the cover off for it to come off and once it's off you have access to the bulbs. Unfortunately. Part of the frame of the car blocks the space you would need to remove it from the engine bay. So what I tried doing was going through the wheel well. Take off the wheel and tuck back the fender liner to expose the hole inside of the wheel well and bumper. To remove the headlight bulbs, first there is this little grey colored plastic clip thingy that secures the connection of the bulb to the connector cable. These things are very fragile and break on you if you tug on them with literally almost any force so be careful with them. You have to squeeze it to release the connector in order for you to unplug the bulbs. Then all that's left is the tension prongs that hold the bulb in place. Squeeze them and push them back and it should release the bulb once both are detached from the bulb. You can now take off the bulb and swap in the new ones. Just do everything in reverse to put the bulbs back in and you're done. For me, I really couldn't see because my sister was too lazy to help me shine a flashlight where I needed it. So I couldn't swap them out without removing the headlights. I was already going to take off the headlights anyway to remove the dog shit faded tint from the headlights so I took off the bumper and headlights. It's really hard to see what you're doing without proper lighting so make sure you have a friend or someone to help with that. Even with the headlights out entirely, the little grey colored plastic clips that I mentioned broke on me. If this happens to you, don't really worry, they are not really necessary. They only hold on to the connector to the plug of the bulb more secure but I find that it's already pretty secure even without them. Now maybe if you go over some big bumps often, then a connector might wiggle loose eventually. But if that happens, you can just wiggle it back in every once in a while through the engine bay or perhaps add some electrical tape so it doesn't come off. But overall for 30 bucks, this little mod makes your car look like how it should have from the factory. Not only is the light a more modern white, but it seems to be brighter also. Keep in mind, I used to have tinted headlights with the old bulbs, so it isn't a perfectly Fair comparison, but I will say that I can see a lot better at night. I had to replace the bulbs out of necessity because for some reason one of the old ones just gave out. I was driving with one headlight for a few weeks and it was a hassle. Not only was it bad for visibility, but it was also embarrassing considering I was in a newer Mustang that was very flashy and loud. It made my car look like a shitbox. My mismatched rear bumper was also not helping and I'm pretty sure people thought that I was driving around in a shitbox salvage Mustang with like 100,000 miles. The car barely has 27,000 miles, so having the headlights go out was weird. But anyway, now the front end of the car looks better than ever and I can finally see the road in front of me. I'll be coming out with another video soon on me removing the old headlight tint that was literally baked on from the sun. The vinyl was so done for that it basically turned into solid plastic that was very brittle. But anyway, if you guys liked the video or have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more Mustang videos. I guess that's about it for this video. See you guys later. Peace.